show me something, keep it sauce and tell nobody in your city, smoke exotics. Yeah, spin it slow, yeah. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this is what I'll be starting out on. My very short hair that I tried to blow out, but it's still very short. So yeah. So this is the night before uh, I installed the braids. I went ahead and sectioned it so it will be easier and quicker. So yeah, this is me just parting my hair and you'll see me take an edge control and like um, rub it on the part so I can make my part cleaner and neater. So yeah, I'm using a lot of body edge control um, for my little sections. Now it's good for that, but personally I don't like it like on my edges because it just like doesn't work. But for something like this, it works really good. Okay y'all, so since my hair is really short, the braid like will not stay. So I'm going to show you what I do to um, box braid my very short hair. Um, uh, you're gonna need a crochet needle. So I take a crochet needle or a crochet hook um, and then I attach a thin piece of the braiding hair as you see right here. Um, and I'm pulling one side through I'm not gonna knot it. Don't knot it, just pull one side through. And basically this is going to act as like your real hair, if that makes sense. And then I just um, grab some more hair and just do the regular box braid. Um, also sometimes like my hair would still stick out, like it wouldn't tuck into the braid. So when that happens, I would either redo the braid or I would just keep braiding and just like um, crochet like that little piece of my real hair back into the braid if that makes sense. And if you have to start over a few times like I did, um, don't get frustrated. Just keep doing it. You'll get it. It's frustrating, I know, but don't give up. You'll get it.
So I went ahead and did the rest off camera and I sprayed this little puff with some water because the top of my hair is thicker so I sprayed it with some water and then um, combed it out and added edge control again. Um, look at the little alpha alpha ponytail. <laughs> but yeah I'm just going to do the same thing at the top as I did in the back.
Okay, so I finished the braids. Um, now I'm going to take a setting mousse or a setting foam. Um, this is the one about by ORS. I'm going to put like a whole lot um, in my hair. And then I'm going to dip it in boiling hot water. Just the ends, of course. Um, you'll see that I did want like curly ends or wavy ends. I was like, hmm. Let me go for that goddess look, but I didn't like the way it turned out. So you're gonna see me braid my hair and then, um, I mean like braid the ends of my hair and then dip it. But um, later on, I went back and just dipped them just to straighten them out because I didn't like the waves. Okay, so I'm all done. Um, I think installing the box braids minus the sectioning and parting, it took about four hours. Um, parting it the night before made it a lot easier and faster. So yeah, I'm ready to have this baby now. <laughs> I am 38 weeks in this video. So yeah, I'm ready to have this baby. This is how I ended up wearing it with the little bun on the top. I hope you guys like it and enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, um, a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah. Bye.